To get and keep a work from home job, a remote job in 2024 and beyond, you will now need two things. Otherwise, you will not win the game and you will go back into an office. And I know this is a hot take, but I want you to hear me out. I'm not just gonna explain the two things. I'm gonna give you the context as to why these are so important. So the first thing that you're going to need is a more specialized skill set. Otherwise, that work from home job that you have right now is going to be outsourced someplace else. I was just talking to a head of HR at a larger company who told me right now they can hire three PhDs over in Europe for the price of one here in the US. And if everything's work from home or remote, you go get your talent wherever you can get it at the best price possible. These companies aren't here just to create jobs, they're here to make money. And so they're looking at it from that standpoint because what? Talent is the most expensive asset. So you're going to have to have skill sets that are unique and specialized enough that they're going to want to hire you here in the US at the time I'm recording this and let you be remote, okay? You're gonna have to be specialized, otherwise you're a commodity. And there's plenty of other people out there that will do your work from home remote job for a lot less money, even overseas. Now the second thing that you're going to need is to brand yourself so well that they wanna hire you. And this is the biggest shift that I'm seeing in, in work from home and remote jobs. You are gonna to have to have your UVA, your unique value add on lock. And if you don't follow me here, then you should follow because I talk about this extensively. It's a big part of what I do on this app is explain how to leverage your UVA, your unique value add. This is what proves to companies that you're gonna make or save them enough money to justify your cost. It's on you to justify how much you wanna make by showing them your value. And part of that benefit is being able to work remotely, right? So you're gonna to have to really show that value in a way you haven't had to before, and here's why. Pandemic, what did it teach us? That a lot of jobs could be done remotely, and that's awesome. I'm really excited that that happened. And then we came out of the pandemic and there was a massive hiring surge. In fact, now they're admitting that a lot of companies overhired. So a ton of people have gotten what? Used to working remotely and they love it. Now it's switching. Companies started to require people to come back in. And they did that knowing that people would quit those jobs and say, I'm gonna stay remote and find keep finding a high paying job to work remote. And some will and some won't. But once they brought all those jobs back in house, now they can decide to hire people at a lower rate. They can post the same job for less money. So there's a lot of this restructuring going on right now. And just ask the tech world, they've seen massive, massive layoffs and restructurings, not just because they need to save money, but things like AI have come along and all of that is shaking things up. Now here's my hot take. I actually believe that when you have this kind of disruption and so many people that um, you know, are kind of highly degreed and highly intelligent lose their jobs, they start companies. The bigger the disruption, the bigger the innovation. The next unicorns are coming. And all these people that are getting laid off, a bunch of them are gonna start companies. And that is awesome from people that want to work remote and have those jobs. Because what are they gonna do? Start companies with no real estate. They don't wanna take off the space, they wanna work remote. So they're gonna create working from home jobs. Great, right? Here's the catch with that. In the olden days of 2008, if you got laid off and started a company and you built it up, you had to hire a lot of employees to get it to the size that you wanted to. Today, with AI and all these other tools, these same unicorns are gonna build big companies with one-tenth of the amount of talent that they used to in the past. They'll be able to do with 10 employees what we used to have to do with 100 employees. So again, these highly skilled, awesome remote jobs, they're gonna keep coming, they will be there, but not at the mass and scale that everybody believes. If you aren't specialized and if you don't know how to market your UVA, you are going to see a real challenging time, I'm just gonna be honest, in getting and keeping that work from home job. And the people that get it, get it right now. I know who's listening to me right now, they know it, they get it, and they're doing it, and they will have those remote jobs, well-paying jobs for as long as they want. But unfortunately, and this is where it gets hard and where I have to tell you what you need to hear, not what you wanna hear. There's a whole bunch of you out there holding out for work from home jobs that aren't going to get them. And it's because you aren't specialized enough, there's too much competition just like you out there, and more importantly, you're not branding yourself correctly and showing your value and getting in front of the right people. Folks, if you're just creating a resume, a LinkedIn profile, and applying online on ATS, that is the bare minimum minimum today of job search. And it's gonna provide the least amount of return. This is a much more skilled game. Everybody would love to play in the pros of whatever sport, whatever your favorite sport is, we'd all love to play in the pros. But very few people make it there. 
It is the people that upskill and dedicate themselves to upskilling that win the game. Job search and getting remote jobs, you gotta upskill. You have got to upskill. Again, specialization and knowing how to market yourself. You're a business of one. You are a service provider selling your services. You want a great expensive client, right? That's more competitive. Everybody wants that great expensive client. What are you doing extra to brand yourself? It's just not the same. It was a wonderful time coming out of the pandemic where everybody was getting remote jobs and saying, I'm never going back. But it was a lot easier to get a job like that then. Now, more skin in the game. You gotta take your level up. That is just the reality. And I know that's hard to hear and I hate to be the person that has to share that with you, but I also want you to hear it because you can do something about it. You can lean into the game. You can play the game. You can level up. You can get more knowledge and you can win and get that remote job that you want. But you gotta be mindful. You can't stick your hand in the sand. The ostrich effect, the ostrich effect. Don't do it because you're gonna end up and there'll be a lot of you that can't make it work and you're going back into an office. But if you don't want that, you got upskill, okay? And I really appreciate people commenting here. If this was helpful for you, it's free to help me back. Follow me here. Post your questions and comments. I am the career coach on this app trying to help 10 million people get new, better paying jobs. And it starts with educating you on the realities and then supporting you with the tools and resources and knowledge you need to succeed, okay? So I appreciate all of you. I really, really do. And lastly, for those of you that have found this super duper helpful, if you would like to learn more about working with me and my team, I would be really grateful if you go over to workitdaily.com and check us out, okay? Thank you, everyone. Good luck. Go get them.